uh, okay. Javier Zamora with JSM Organics in beautiful Royal Oaks, California. This is the place where people come to grow strawberries. We grow obviously strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, lots of veggies and uh, flowers, all certified organic. My name is Diego Nieto, uh, and I'm a research entomologist with Driscoll's Berries uh, here in Watsonville, California. Ligus bugs overwinter in the weeds in the hillsides, and as the fall turns to spring, turns to summer, um, those, those habitats degrade, and so ligus bugs need to look for a new home. Um, they're looking for something green and, and something to feed on, uh, and strawberries seem to fit the bill. The presence of weeds can be replaced with native perennial systems, which previous work seems to indicate uh, favor beneficial insects over pests, that switch will help favor the good bugs over the bad bugs for growers. I think farming with mother nature, it's probably one of the best ways to grow our food because it helps you deal with some of the pests that could be a problem with strawberries or veggies. And in my case, I came to a place that has a lots of riparian area, a lots of natural habitat, but I have also increased the amount of habitat that is closer to the crops that I grow by planting some hedgerows and some shrubs that are very beneficial to things that we grow and very beneficial for cash flow as well, because you can do a lot of things with them. So always kind of thinking of a dual purpose. You know that coyote bush, we put that in bouquets. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. And people in the city, they don't know. I mean, they probably see it around the, you know, roadside, but it's rare for them to see it on a, on a uh, bouquet of flowers. I mean, there's just so many things that, that you can incorporate. It's optimal uh, to try and create a system that advantages the good bugs and not the bad. A protein was applied uh, onto the weeds that acted as the mark for the ligus uh, and all the other insects that were present on the weeds so that we could capture um, them later as they either remained in the weeds uh, or moved uh, into the strawberry slash alfalfa trap crops. The vast majority of ligus bug adults chose to migrate to alfalfa rather than strawberry, which was fantastic, right? And that definitely demonstrated that alfalfa, particularly flowering alfalfa, is attractive to immigrating ligus bugs. We also found that um, there were lots of uh, natural enemies, uh, predaceous insects and spiders that moved from the weeds to the strawberries. And in that case, uh, interestingly enough, they didn't, as a group, they did not prefer alfalfa. They tended to move to strawberry. All of these spiders and predaceous insects are generalists. Particularly during the spring, there aren't a lot of ligus bug nymphs around or eggs yet, um, but there are lots of other things that are. They can then build up their population number so that one ligus eventually do become more commonly encountered in the strawberries, the populations are ready to go. Uh, as spring turns to summer uh, and you get an aggregation of insects in the alfalfa, particularly ligus bugs, then you get a shift in the spatial pattern of the natural enemies, right? They, they move from the strawberry and they start aggregating in the alfalfa as well. Uh, that's also when we see um, higher predation rates and parasitism rates of ligus bugs uh, in the alfalfa. The parasitic wasp, Parastinus relictus, has done a really nice job of regulating ligus bugs, particularly in environments that have high host densities and very little disturbance. So in other words, no insecticide applications. As long as three things are done as a grower, then you can have good confidence that the ligus uh, are gonna be retained inside of this alfalfa trap crop. First, the management of the ligus through the use of tractor-mounted vacuums uh, or insecticide applications uh, needs to be done consistently uh, in order to make sure that the densities of, of this pest don't get so high that they get crowded out of the space. Um, second, the alfalfa itself needs to be managed through periodic cutting uh, to make sure that the vegetation is going to be regrowing um, throughout the growing season. Uh, and third, uh, proper irrigation and fertility to make sure that alfalfa uh, remains a good plant host for this pest. Ideally, if strawberry growers can manage the alfalfa and reduce their management efforts in strawberry to support the natural enemies, uh, that is certainly advantageous. Mother Nature was here before you arrived to take some of the land to produce food. Therefore, you should always keep that in mind. Work with it and make sure that the soils and the environment gets treated in a very caring manner. There are lots of reasons why participating in entomological research is rewarding. 
uh, coming up with a project that requires a lot of creativity, working with teams of really great people, and then if a solution does come out of this process that does help growers uh, and improve the sustainability of the region, then that's always really rewarding as well.